Hello Makers Today in the mail I received the following kit This is a BL Touch kit for the CR10S5 um, So let's see what we get in the kit This is the uh, BL10 Oh sorry, the BL Touch looks like an adapter this would plug into something on the main board of the uh, CR10 controller and allows one of our cables to connect here this looks like a programming adapter going from a 10 pin uh, programming cable to the six pin commonly used on uh, Arduinos and the like. Some cables to go from the BL touch and not run all the way back into the control box. A bag I'll open in a minute. A bracket to hold the BL touch onto the uh, CR10 carriage some screws an allen key and some cable ties it's a nice little box though so let's open up the bag and see what we get in that A USB ISP version 2. This will be a programmer in case you need to load a bootloader. Handy to have. I haven't investigated if I need a bootloader yet, but the earlier CR10s definitely needed a bootloader. I think in the later ones, when Creality went more open source they started to include the bootloader as part of their system to make it easier to do upgrades uh, the later machines starting with the end of 5 moving onwards Creality did go open source uh, and adopted it fully and properly and I think that is one of the reasons why the end of 5 is actually such a popular printer it is well supported by the open source community as a result of it being fully open source Alright, I'll continue this video when I'm installing it.
Okay, so my two cables that came from the BL Touch have turned up to be a bit short and that makes it very difficult to connect it in. Also, the adapter that came in the kit uh, for hooking up, giving me the terminals for the servo are actually back to front and won't connect in with the keyway there and the keyway on this side they would have to go in and that would put it outside of the box so this is not suitable for this board so we won't be using that what we'll do is use a model aircraft extension cable for a survey and we'll plug that in since that works and we'll connect to D11 which is data port for the servo according to the Marlin firmware now this is a cable I've made up I've got the right plug so I don't have to cut the old connector off but it is sort of reversed so the red wire needs to line up with the black and the uh, on the cable comes from the VL touch and the black with the white. If you connect it up the other way around, well, nothing will blow up, it just won't work. And then we plug it into the connector uh, where the Z limit axis connects to, or Z limit connects to, and we plug our expansion cable back in which comes from the LCD so that's all plugged in and ready to go check and make sure it's plugged in on this end it looked a bit loose then and it was check all our other connectors are okay this is the old Z which I haven't pulled out looking inside to see what room we've got because I'm not happy with the way those wires come through there's a plug here for this cable and the wires coming through the back makes that useless so I'll investigate at some stage down the track putting another plug in with five pins at least for that to plug in with after we put it all back together the next step will be to install the firmware. Now I have checked with this printer and the bootloader is already installed so I don't need that bootloader cable that they supplied. But because I've used D11 as my input, or my servo I should say, um, it's not going to match the firmware that was supplied by Coreality. So I'm going to have to use Vanilla Marlin 1.9, which is an even newer version than Creality was using, and modify it to suit this printer.
Okay. So the next trick, plug in the USB cable. This video is starting to get a bit long so we'll continue this installation on the next video. In the next video we will do the firmware and testing and calibration of the BL Touch. See you next video.